Uh, today we had a force com uh, competition, a uh, martial competition. I have the match committee for the M4. Uh, we ran today. We did moving targets uh, with the RHHT, which are the moving quad targets. Uh, it was outstanding opportunity for the soldiers to shoot a probably the most realistic moving target other than shooting enemy soldiers they possibly have ever seen. Uh, we shot a stress fire out on range 62 uh, Bravo. We incorporated uh, shooting at high angles of uh, moving targets out to 300 meters. Uh, at that time, then they maneuvered down to skip code track grab their buddy that's been injured. Uh, they went through the course of five the new film that used different types of turns and uh, marksmanship capabilities, short, mid range, long range. Being from Washington, there's not humidity, it's really dry. So the humidity here is just getting into my lungs and I'm sucking a little. But it, it wasn't too hard. I feel pretty good. I like being the underdog. Today we put a lot more stress on, we elevated their heart rates and put them in scenarios that made them more of a combat environment. And they made them use their, uh, a little bit more free thinking, how would they get through the obstacles rather than just being kind of direct. Uh, so it was a little bit more free thinking of them and they knew they were on the clock and they were getting more of a shot value as far as how accurate they were and how lethal they were with each shot they took. As you can see that guy. Uh, we're out here engaging uh, moving targets. Um, they're, they're robotic targets. Uh, they're kind of like mini armored segways. Um, and the people here, I think it's Asymmetric Warfare Group, have set up a uh, scenario uh, that simulates a section of a combat patrol uh, where you encounter some armed individuals uh, and you have to engage them. Uh, the major difference here is that since the targets are robotic, they're constantly moving and they only react to lethal shots. Uh, so accuracy is stressed uh, more heavily.